Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you're watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about functions. So let's get started. All right, so I've opened the project folder in Sublime Text and inside the project folder, I have created a new file functions.html and I've written the following code and inside the JS folder, I have created functions.js file, which is this one. And inside the HTML file, I have included this JS file by writing this script tag. So I have set the SRC to JS slash functions.js. And now let us go ahead and open this in Chrome. And we'll open the dev tools. So we'll go to view developers and we'll select this developer tools. And we'll go to the console tab. And since we have nothing in the console, that means we have no error. All right. Function. A function is a block of code that is executed when we call the function. And we use function when we want to reuse a piece of code. In JavaScript, if we want to create a function, we use the function keyword and we give a space and we write the name of the function. Let's say we want to create a greetings function. So we use the function keyword space, then the name of the function. In this case, it is greetings. Then we have the opening and closing parenthesis. Then we have the opening and closing curly brackets. So this is a function. And it has a name greetings and inside this we have the body of the function so let's say we want to console log hello world so inside the body of the function we can write console.log hello world now in order to execute the code that is inside this function greetings we have to call the function so calling the greetings function we call any function in javascript by writing the name of the function followed by parenthesis so in this case we want to call the greetings function so we'll write greetings parenthesis and now if we go back to chrome and if we reload the page in the console tab we can see the output hello world so we are creating a function and then we are calling the function. So this is creating a function. Now let's discuss about naming functions. So naming functions. We can use the following symbols to name a function. We can use letters, small a to z and capital A to Z. We can use digits 0 to 9. We can use dollar sign and we can use underscore. And note function name must not start with a digit. Next topic is function declaration. So function declaration this is creation of a function so function declaration is actually the creation of a function so we have already seen a creation of greetings function so let us go ahead and create one more function let's say foo so we'll write function keyword we'll write the name of the function foo opening and closing parenthesis opening and closing curly brackets and inside the body of the function let's say we want to console log we are inside the foo function so this is function declaration we also have function expression this is a function without any name and it is 
assigned to a variable. So let's say we have a variable var fun and if we assign a function by using assignment operator or the equal to sign and if we write function parenthesis then opening and closing curly brackets and semicolon so this is a function expression and note we don't have any name for this function and we are assigning this function to a variable fun and let's say inside the body of this function we are going to console log let's say inside a function that is assigned to variable fun the next topic is invoking functions this is calling a function so function invoking is like calling a function so we have already created a foo function and in order to invoke that is in order to call this foo function all we have to do is write the name of the function that is foo and then round brackets or parentheses so now if we go back to chrome clear the console and if we reload we get the output we are inside the foo function so at this line we are invoking that is we are calling the foo function and when we call the foo function the code inside this function that is console log and this string this is printed in the console in our browser similarly we can invoke this function which is assigned to this fun variable by using this variable name so we have to write fun and to invoke a function we use the opening and closing parenthesis or the round brackets and if we save the file and go back to chrome clear the console and if we reload we get another output inside a function that is assigned to a variable fun so at this line we are invoking that is we are calling this function and the code inside this function gets executed when it is called so this is invoking functions now let's talk about function parameters these are placeholders for the values that we pass to a function so let's say we have a function and we have named the function add and this function will return us the sum of two values so we have to add parameters to this function so let's say this function takes two values and both are let's say integer values so inside the opening and closing round brackets or parentheses we have to write two parameters let's say the first parameter is x and the second parameter is y and we separate the parameters using comma now inside the body of this function add let's say we have a variable var sum which is equal to x plus y so we are adding the value stored in x and y and we are saving the result in variable sum and let's say in the next line we console log sum now to call or invoke this add function we have to write the name of the function and since this function takes two parameters so we have to pass two values let's say the first value is 1 and let's say the second value is 2 so we are calling the add function and we are passing two values 1 and 2 and when this function add gets invoked 1 is passed to x and 2 is passed to y and at this line we add the value stored in x and y and we save the result in sum and at this line we console log sum and the value stored in the sum variable so if we save this file and go back to chrome clear the console and if we reload we get sum 3 similarly we can 
again call the add function and let's say this time we are passing 100 and 200. So now we are going to get 300 as the output. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and if we reload, we get 300. We can even make a function return a value. By default, a function returns undefined. So let's talk about the next topic, which is returning values from a function. We use the return keyword to return a value from a function. So let's say we have, let's say another function and this is subtract and it takes two parameters x and y and inside the body of the function we have let's say a variable var diff which will store the difference and we write x minus y and in the next line we console log the difference so we'll write diff and we'll set the div value. Now let's say we have a variable var result and we are going to call the subtract function. And to call a function, we write the name of the function and we write the opening and closing round brackets or parentheses. Now since this subtract function takes two variable as parameters, so let's say we are going to pass 10 and five. So at this line, we are calling or invoking the subtract function and we are passing two values as parameters to this subtract function. So the first value is 10, which is getting stored in X and the second value is five, which is getting stored in Y. And at this line, we are subtracting value of X and Y. So we have written X minus Y and we are saving the result in the variable diff. And at this line, we are printing out the value stored in the variable diff. Now, if we run this code, we'll get two output. The first one will be the value stored in diff, which is the result of x minus y. And the second value is undefined, which is returned by this function when we call or invoke subtract function. And to check that, we can console log result. So now if we go back to Chrome, clear the console and reload, we get diff, which is five from line number 69. That is this one. We get undefined from line number 73, which is this one. So by default, function will return undefined. So let's say we don't want to console log the value stored in diff, but we want to return the value stored in diff. So let me comment this. And to return the value stored in diff, we have to use the return keyword and write the variable name, which is diff. So now this function is going to return the value stored in the variable diff. So at this line, we are invoking or calling the subtract function and we are passing two values, 10 and five. And inside the subtract function, we are calculating X minus Y and we are saving the result in the diff variable. And then at this line, we are returning the value stored in the diff variable using the return keyword. So when we are calling the function, this function is returning back a value. Now that value gets stored in the result variable because we are using the assignment or equal to operator. And then at this line, we are printing out the result that we got from the subtract function in the console. So if we save the file and go back to Chrome and if we reload, we get five. 
Similarly, we can create another variable, let's say result2. And we can again call the subtract function. And this time we can pass, let's say 100, the second value, let's say 60. And we can console log result2. And now at this line, we are calling or invoking the subtract function and we are passing two values, 100, which is getting stored in X and 60, which is getting stored in Y. And then inside this function, we are calculating the difference, which is 40, 100 minus 60 is 40. So 40 is getting saved in the variable diff. And then the subtract function is returning that value. So that return value is then getting saved in this result to variable. And then we are printing out the value stored in result to in the console. So if we save the file and go back to Chrome, and if we reload the page, we get 40. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the important links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye!